Hi guys, this is Lego Nerd Zero One Two Four Five, and I'm doing a review of my Subaru Impreza WRC One Ten Scale Radio Control Four Wheel, four -wheel Drive High Performance Racing Car. That's a mouthful, and it's shaft driven four wheel drive on a TTO One Type E chassis. Comes with LEDs and a forward and reverse speed controller, and it's by Tamaya. And here's the body. You have to. It's a kit and stuff. And this was my very first kit. So the paint job really, really, really bad. <laughs> Except from this side. This side is pretty good. Okay, time to take the body off. And here is all the LED components. Those are the actual like, like things that the LEDs go into, and then the like the frame thing. I guess you could say. See right there. Let it auto focus. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to focus it myself. Okay, but yeah, it's right there. Yeah, there. And um, here are the components that. That the, all of it plugs into. I don't know what it's called. Um, but yeah, and then it, you get like these things to make it more organized, make the cables more organized. I repainted it, and at one point I had all the cables like hot glued into the wall and stuff here, but then it chipped and got all messed up. Um, but yeah, here's the front ones. Here's the body again. And this, this, it plugs in to your, like this plugs into your battery. And it transfers the current through to, like, this plugs in, the battery gets plugged in here. And this gets plugged in to the motor and all that stuff. Okay. Let's. Um, here is the body and the, uh, the chassis with everything on it. It comes with, uh, you know what, I don't know what this motor is called, actually. I'm going to look it on the box. It's a G2. Oh no, okay, that's an upgrade. Sorry for this, fellas. But yeah, I don't I don't know what motor it's called. David, do you know? No, okay. Yeah, I don't know what motor it's called, but it's just your basic of the basic, I guess. And this was a kit. It came the kit came with a speed controller and a motor and that's it. I had to take the the god the the, the um, toy channel thing from our radio. I had to take that out of my uh dirt tracks and the steering silver I had to take out of my dirt tracks dirt tracks. Yeah I took my battery out but you can't really see it because it's I stacked them on top of each other and because there's really not that much room in here for that kind of stuff. Like it's kinda all crammed together. Plugs into the battery. Um, here are the rims and the tires. There's tape on here because I was drifting it. Uh, <laughs> here's inside. Here's the shocks. They're pretty small. Um, I'll take off the wheel. Uh, I don't really know what I'm say. Okay, well, I don't have the tool for it. Right at currently, but it's four wheel drive, as it says, shaft driven. And I'm taking the wheel off right now. I found the tool, <laughs> and yeah, it's a pretty good car. It's really fast, uh, easy. The uh, the rims are kind of cheesy because like it cracked there, like that, and then um. I have another one out of the box. It was cracked, um. So I just taped it with the. You do have to tape the rims to the wheels, and with that glue, I just um taped the rim back to it. But <laughs> yeah, pretty nice. The dog bones. They're really tiny in this car. I guess it's kind of obvious, but here. I don't really want to take it off in video. I think I might stop it, but if it auto focuses, this is the crankshaft right here. 
yeah, this is the crankshaft, the shaft thing, that, okay, I can't really grab both of the wheels, yeah, but they're, so it is four-wheel drive, the motor goes straight to the back wheel, see, it's really hard to see, because I have this thing fully built, and it kind of covers everything up, everything's kind of compacted into here, but the gears just go straight to the back, and then the crankshaft, the shaft just kind of brings it up to the front. And then, yeah. The only thing that's really protecting it is this right here. This little bar here. That's basically it. I mean, these pin towers, the things are huge for the back. Because the body, you know, the back is huge. I'll show my box. Um, my box of it. Here is the top, the top of it, LED, and the box is tiny, um, because it's a kit, GTO1 Type E, chassis, chassis, it says chassis, but, bright LED lights included, I would have my paint job to turn out like that. That's why I did the stripes, but it didn't really turn out anything like that. <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of did, but side, top. I thought that was the motor at first, but it's just an upgrade. I'll open it. It just slides up. Inside. It's just really basic. Get your owner's manual. And I forgot that it comes with covers to so when you paint it, you can cover the windows. I forgot about that until after. Because like I when I first unboxed it, when I first got it a couple years ago, I was like, oh sweet. And then I forgot about it when I finally painted it. Get some stickers. That's why the paint job's not the best. Um Empty plastic bag. This, just to tell you, you can like upgrade it. All the parts come on this thing that you just snap out. Well, most of them, not the gears and stuff, obviously, but some of the stuff comes on that. Another thing, instruction guide. Um. You get tons of spare parts too. Let me, I'm just gonna say that. And then this, just information, I guess. But see, this, it's Japanese. And then this side, pretty nice. <laughs> and that's about it. So, thank you for watching.